Hello everyone and welcome to my video tutorial on deploying a Java application to a Java file and set up for deployment to a client PC. So I have a, a Java software that works with a MySQL database and it generates reports to Excel. So what we want to do now is build a setup file that we can use to install on a different PC that does not have Java installed in it. So there are two parts to doing that. The first part is to create the Java file which we are going to use to create the setup file. First ensure that all your required libraries and Java files which you use to create the software are kept in a folder. Preferably a live folder in the top directory or in some directory in your project. So if you look at my project directory I have several folders. This is the image folder that contains images that will be uploaded when the software is being used and the images that are used to create the software as a part of the GUI. All of them are, are in the IMG folder. Now my live folder contains several Java files. Most important or more important is this one that helps to connect to the MySQL database. The rest of them are the libraries that we use to generate the Excel reports. In the project directory, create the manifest file as follows. Save it as a .mf file. It should have a descriptive name or any name you want to call it. Mine is ARMSMF because it is Academic Records Management System. Now, if you look at the listing, the items that are listed in this red are more important. So we have the version of the manifest. The main class is important. The program starts with a, with a splash screen, the, and the class name is from splash. So this class part is also very important. You have to list all the libraries that are used, starting from the directory where they are, and the name of each file. Everything here must be in a single line. The reason why they are showing here on different lines is because of Microsoft Word, Word Wrap. You can also see it is created by, give it a name, the name of the software, specification title, specification version, all the items that are listed in blue are not very important. So, I already created the manifest file in TextPad and this is what it looks like. You can see that all the library Java archives are on a single line. If you are using an app like TextPad or whatever text editor you are using, after typing in the file and making sure everything is correctly typed, you can say save as. You have to change the file type to all files so you can say .mf and then click save. The file is saved. After the file is saved, we can go to the command prompt and get into the directory where the software is. So we'll copy the following and type there. We can click paste. Now, if you want to understand what all of these acronyms mean, JAR, CMVF, you can look at the Oracle documentation on how to create JAR files. However, this is the name of the manifest file which we just created. Arms.jar is the name of the Java archive file. You choose a name that you want. Star.class means that it's going to include every other class in the directory. And IMG is a directory, it will be included. So we can just press enter. That was very fast. If we go to our directory and search for the for the jar file, arms.jar most likely has been created. So this is our jar file. You can run this jar file from the command prompt or you can just double click to run the file. So if we start with the option of double clicking, 
that's the splash screen okay we can close it also you can run the jar file from the command prompt I just say So we can stop the program. So after the creating of the jar archive file, the second thing is to create the set of file which we are going to use to install the software on the client computer. We will be using JPackage. You can read more about JPackage from the documentation. Just copy this and put in the command prompt. Important things to note here the name of the app which is ARMS app. The main jar file which we are going to be using is the, uh, the jar file which we just created and the main class is the splash screen as usual. So this may require a library called Wix setup. If you've not installed it before no problem it's going to direct us where to download and install it. So you press enter. We have uh, an exception here and it says cannot find Wix tools and it, it gives us a web page where we can download it for. You see download Wix 3.0 or later and add it to the path. If we open a browser and we just type click on download. I already downloaded it. Just download it to a directory on your computer wherever you downloaded it to. If we open here we see I already have it here. So you can double click on it to install. Install yes so the installation is complete we can exit now for you to add it to part you we have to go to program files or check where Wix was installed on the computer program files exit 6 we have Wix bin so we can copy this directory for Wix and then we can just open properties, I mean Windows 10 advanced system settings, environment variables and let's look at the path system variables edit we can create new and say Okay. So every time you change environment variables, you need to restart command prompt. Come back and say cd. We can now continue with our creation of a set of file. J package and press enter. Wait patiently for it. This takes some time. So after waiting for quite a few minutes I got this output which shows that it has succeeded in building an Excel installer package. If we go to our directory we we'll discover that an ARMS app version 1.0.exe has been created. So the next part will be to deploy this software to a different computer that does not have Java installed in it at all. So now that our setup file has been created, we need to copy the setup file to an installation device, maybe a flash drive or burn it on a CD. The only other thing that we need to copy from the project directory is the image folder because it contains images that are part of the GUI of the system.